Hi folks, Brent here again. It's supposed to be a lovely spring day, but it's cold again. Welcome to New England. It's like 42 degrees outside. <laughs> it was like 60 all weekend or 65 and nice and warm. Yeah, anyway, enough of the weather update, who cares? Uh, I took a little bit of a break from filming for the last few weeks because if you'd seen my view counts, you'd be depressed and uh, not want to do it either. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I've run my first race. That video will probably be a little clip show video because I was way too busy working on the car and trying to get things figured out. Uh, first race was the icebreaker at Thompson in Connecticut, and we took the track and a little off on the, on the setup. We had to pick up at least half a second, maybe more, but we picked up quite a bit of time, but I had to take the car home after the first event or uh, first practice and on Friday. And we had to work on it on the uh, scales at the house and do all sorts of stuff. So it was an incredibly busy weekend. And uh, I had to work really, really hard all weekend long to get that thing done. And then the next weekend we went to Loudoun with my brother and I, again, two straight days of work and absolutely no time to film at all. And it's just so hard to, to run this type of thing when you when you're a small team and you have no help. So anyway, enough of the boring stuff. I know that would have been really cool content to have more videos out and stuff, but um, I'm gonna at least show you something today, which, which might be of some sort of use. Uh, I'm gonna try to show you this. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, show you the cheap way to have a better looking windshield. Now, Lexan costs are up a little bit and it costs a good amount of money to get a nice fresh windshield. And as you can probably see, if I hold it like this, you can see scuffs and scratches. Like up here, there's a scuff, there's some scuffs here, there's some scratches all over the place and stuff. And I borrowed this little, I'd say kit from my cousin who did car detailing in a past life. And he's got a nice unit here, and I got these little pads and stuff off of uh, Amazon and some other stuff like bonnets and foam stuff and wool and all these other things. And almost dropped my camera, but sorry about that. So we are going to take to polishing a windshield, a Lexan windshield, and making it look a little bit more present, making it look a little more presentable, uh, so that you can actually, I don't know, see out of it and maybe be able to race instead of spending a hundred something dollars on a new windshield and taking the time to undo it and put a whole new one in and cutting it out and templates and all this other nonsense. So why don't we get to it and we'll figure it out as we go. Now, obviously I'm going to be using a rotating polisher. It's not a DA polisher. It's just a regular rotating one. It's got a little knob up here for speed controls. Uh, it's a nice name brand, obviously no free ads, but I got these little foam pads with uh, Velcro back, because this is a Velcro back uh, polisher. It's got this stuff. I don't know who these people are, but I got it for cheap on, you know, Amazon. And I've, I've tried it with just the foam pads. Now, they're all in different hardnesses. Like, you go, like, hard to, like, medium. Like, this one's a hard medium. And then, like, blue. I think this one's the blue one. And that one's kind of medium. And then it's got, like, black and white are the softest ones. And, they all vary in different hardnesses. And I tried it with just the foam because I guess you can do that. And I didn't really, it worked pretty good, but not as good as like a microfiber bonnet. And I got this wool polishing one as well. And I think that the covers actually work better than the, the uh, styrofoam because it's a little bit finer and it's not as, you know, it won't leave swirl marks and stuff. But I got these two things I borrowed from my cousin. It's like a polish and a compound and all sorts of stuff. And again, no free ads, but I, I figured I'd give it a try. And uh, I did my brother's windshield for New Hampshire and it came out pretty good with the bonnets and stuff. So I'm gonna give this a shot instead of just using the straight up foam that I just totally aggressively knocked on the, well, almost on the floor. So what I do is with these foam pads and these bonnets and stuff i stick it over the foam pad like before putting it on the machine but like these i don't know they're a little tight they say for six and seven inch pads and 
and you try to put them on and it's like absolutely wrestling an alligator it's just or corralling a toddler or herding cats whatever idiom you want to use for this it's just exactly the same as that see it's actually fits pretty good once you get her on there it might take you a few attempts but you leave enough hook and loop there just you know enough for hooking onto it hopefully i mean that's not a lot of room so uh we'll give that a shot no guarantees i don't know she seems to be sticking on there pretty good now i'm going to use this wool pad and i don't really know exactly how much to use here but i will definitely be using compound first and then polish but i'm absolutely not what you would call a detailer uh oh yeah i'm yeah i'm definitely not i mean yeah that's not you know concentric in any way so it'll be more like a da but whatever we're gonna learn together now i know you don't want to have too little i know too you gotta shake the crap out of it but there's a whole lot of scratches because my windshield whenever you pull it up it kind of rakes against it and fiberglass against plastic is not great so I'll take the compound because I think that's what you would probably use first and just like throw a couple small dabs to at least keep it going and then I'll probably take and put some I just got to make sure you can see it on this pad here that's way too much oh I'll save it for the other side whatever so I'll just go and at least give her a coating so it doesn't i'll just i'll keep going i'll you know, put it all over here just so it doesn't sling all over the place you know you don't want it to fly all over and spray and then you have to wipe it all off it's just a nightmare i found a piece of rubber in this thing already so get that out of there and then you go with a slow speed i usually do if you got a variable speed it's kind of like mid speed i don't know i'm not a detailer so don't at me on this, but let's give it a shot. I try to go in, uh, I try to go in smooth lines and go slowly and, you know, one way and then I'll go the other way and, uh, you know, we'll see. I used a lot. Now, obviously, since I'm not a detailer, then I've made that perfectly clear. Uh, I typically read the instructions on the product that you're using to polish with. Shake well, cool surface. Not a problem today. Uh, for the use by DA, put a small amount, microfiber this, blah, blah, blah. Just keep going until it goes away, basically. <laughs> I guess. I'm not sure. But again, we're learning as we go. So, they say at the end, obviously there's some material left. You don't want to use it dry or anything. That would be kind of ridiculous. Wipe it off. They say with a cotton or terry cloth, and I'm like, that's not great. I'd probably use microfiber to keep the scratches out of it. I did a, a very, very minor amount of car detailing in the past because I took a break from racing, and I, uh, I actually owned a show car. Like I would go to car shows and stuff. And there's a reason why I went back to racing. It's because uh, if I'm going to get heat stroke standing out in the sun all day, I might as well have fun doing it instead of looking at other people's cars and having things judged. Now, that doesn't look bad. A lot of the scuffs did come out, but I do see a little bit of swirling from the compound. I might be going a little bit dry in some spots, but that's what polishes for and you know what i'm not gonna make you sit and wait and do this in real time I'll, I'll do some time lapse for the polish and then we'll come back to it
So that's basically it. I mean, compound and then polish. And I know you see what looks like a lot of rock chipping or these little dots here, little white ones. You can see if I move the camera. That's all like deep staining or deep etching caused by, uh, I want to say chemicals or whatever. But if you look through it, it looks really clear. I mean, this windshield is from 2015. And aside from like glare and stuff, it actually is pretty clear. I mean, you can look right through that thing, although the trunk lid's kind of up and that does not help, so you can't see through it. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go do the other side and uh, then this thing should be done. So that's it. Just a quickie job. I didn't do a very good one, but you could kind of understand the concept. Maybe watch a few more YouTube videos and, you know, from professionals instead of me. But you could see through it real well. Uh, not bad for a six, seven year old windshield. That's probably going to be it for today. Again, I apologize if you're a usual watcher of the channel. I, uh, again, I took a few weeks off. We've been super, super busy. I've got more videos coming. I've got some in-car camera footage from the icebreaker. Got some interesting stuff on there, but a lot of racing stuff that's just kind of like me struggling with no grip. But uh, uh, we did finish third at the icebreaker. We had a good car. We did figure out a lot of stuff. We learned a lot. Uh, again, uh, that video will probably be coming out whenever I get a chance to do it. Life is really, really busy right now. But uh, thank you all for watching. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends about it if you like what you see, and hopefully I'll have a lot more projects coming along down the pipeline. I have uh, some interesting stuff coming, maybe not interesting to some, uh, but it, you know, once the warmer weather hits, then maybe we'll have a lot more to do. We have another two months off of racing because we only race like six times a year, which is kind of unfortunate, but not for my wallet, it's not. And uh, Hopefully I'll have some more videos for you on the race car. Maybe I'll have some for other things going on. We'll see what happens. But uh, thanks you all for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, have a good one.